Hi everyone. Okay, I'm gonna try to do a quick intro because my battery is about to die. Uh, but long time to see. Hi, how you doing? Good to see you. Glad you're here again. Today is a little bit of a different video because I don't feel well. <laughs> Despite the fact that I'm smiling at the moment, I'm not feeling good. I'm definitely having a flare up with my autoimmune disease. I don't feel good. I'm trying to keep a good attitude, but I woke up feeling really crummy, really bad headache, really bad joint pain. Everything kind of just hurts. My face is flaming hot. So basically all of my symptoms are flaring up right now. My stomach is really upset. I'm trying to, to figure out what my body wants at the moment. And so I'm going to kind of show you guys what I'm going to do to combat this flare. My battery is on its last leg. Well, as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by my camera dying. Um, I don't feel well. <laughs> I'm progressively declining as the day goes on. I was just laying down, like, after I was trying to film, I tried vacuuming for a bit while my camera was charging, and I'm just feeling super nauseous, so I'm gonna do something that I don't normally do. I'm gonna eat some mac and cheese. I don't have like the kind of mac and cheese I normally eat, which is like vegan and gluten-free. I have one that my boyfriend made the other day. It's Annie's, so it's in the middle, but I have a brand that I usually like to eat, but I need like comfort food stat. It's funny because this is kind of the opposite of like what I'm trying to do today for this video, which is going and showing you guys all the foods that I'm going to eat this week to feel better. <laughs> but right now I have to pick and choose my battles. And right now my number one battle is a really bad migraine with nausea, mac and cheese it is, and some water. And I think I'm gonna take Advil, which is what I've been trying to avoid, but I can't do anything right now without having some major sharp piercing pains in my brain. It's kind of a bummer, but I'm gonna warm up this mac and cheese, take some Advil, maybe sit down for a little bit longer, let my camera charge more. Oh. I am, this is not good. But you know, I was thinking about it and I was like, I feel, yeah, I think these are important things to share just so people who are like me. I watch a lot of people on YouTube like me who have autoimmune disease and it helps me see other people who I can relate to. When I see people who try to like hide it or try to pretend that like it doesn't affect their life, I just, it rubs me the wrong way. And that's just how it is. <laughs> so that's the plan for today, but I first need to be functionable, functioning, functioning. So this is first, and then after that, I'm gonna try to muster the strength to go to the store. But I'm gonna go lay down and eat, and then I will check back in with you guys. Cheers. You, one thing that's really big besides exclusivity, which I just mentioned, is usage. Usage essentially means you are granting rights to the brand to use your footage, your name, your life. Hi everyone. I made it out of bed. It is almost five o'clock. I'm pretty bummed because it feels like my day just... My migraine's finally gone. I had to take three Advil sleep it off but now i need to go get my food and so i'm going to show you guys i'm at trader joe's let's do this This is my hack for making healthy cocoa if you have health problems. You just take cacao powder, mix it with either maple syrup or coconut sugar, and then add like almond milk, oat milk, hemp milk, whatever ever milk that there is besides dairy, and lots of cinnamon and a little cayenne. Best thing in the world. Wow, that actually smells really good. Quinoa, I eat a lot of quinoa. I'm making a soup with that quinoa, so that's what it's gonna go in, is this really big, yummy soup. For the soup, also rosemary and thyme. This, because I was kind of craving pasta today, I love to make it with nutritional yeast and just salt and pepper. Organic, creamy peanut butter, unsalted. Pretty. I 
got three macro bars. I usually eat these things religiously. I have them every single day without fail, but this week I got a few cause they're just like, they never fail as a grab and go. But I figured I would try to make something this week as a snack. So I'm gonna make these muffins. We'll sear up for. Coconut aminos I use for stir fry. That recipe is in my what I eat in a day as a vegan with autoimmune disease video. Veggie broth for my soup. Crushed tomatoes. All these things are for soup. Almond flour. We're doing almond flour for the muffins. I put this on everything and yes, it's amazing on pasta. Lots of dates because I'm gonna be using it in the smoothie that I'm using. Using? That could be good. Sorry, my stomach is upset. It is what it is. I've been needing vanilla extract for such a long time and I never buy it because I'm like, meh. But I finally did because I, for my muffins, I want to put it in the muffins. Uh, got this organic vegetarian chili. I, it's not perfect, but honestly, the ingredients aren't that bad. And just in case I didn't feel like cooking tonight because I still don't feel super strong, I might do this for my smoothies. The milk for the smoothies. Organic carrots, again, for soup. Cabbage for the soup. Celery. Oh man, I just free. I wanted to make a juice and I forgot to get that stuff, but I got celery for the. Whatever. Tomorrow um, from Amazon, I ordered spirulina powder and um, cara powder, I'm using it for the muffins I'm making. Tomorrow, I'll show you guys just like a day in these new meals I'm gonna be eating. thing I pick up throughout the winter time because it's really good. So not anti-inflammatory for my body, but it's comforting and that's what I need tonight. Not this week, but tonight. That's all. Goodbye. That was so good. Ugh, I forgot about my taxes. Ugh. Yeah, that's right. I bought kids sheets for my bed because I love cheetahs. I think that's a cheat. Yeah, I love cheetahs. Welcome to my bathroom. Ugh. Um, promise I only make this many whining sounds when I don't feel good. I don't normally complain about life, but bobby pins in and they're still ah uh, yeah good morning everyone she's back yeah. i'm feeling much better today who are you i have a meeting for something i'm supposed to be doing in the industry does that mean i don't know i don't want to talk about it <laughs> <laughs> that was my call. They called me. It was not Zoom. I'm anxious now. <laughs> I don't need to be ready for Zoom now, which is great, but I'm still gonna get ready because I'm a quarter of the way there. Okay, bye. Hi. To take a pill.
while I'm sipping the smoothie. Mm. And while I'm sipping the smoothie, I had it on all night last night. Not all night, but while I was doing my taxes, which ended up being a very disastrous situation of which I had a meltdown. Sorry, mom. That was burning though the whole time, but it was really great. I'm gonna make soup and also pour myself an Ultima. Let me tell you, I despise every electrolyte mix that's out there. I really do. Ultima and this particular flavor, just the lemon, totally can tolerate it. I always buy a few a week, a numerous a week. Especially yesterday, I had a bad migraine. Need to replenish. The biggest thing I've learned since having SIBO, and I have the worst one out of all of them, they're all bad, but apparently the most difficult one to deal with is the methane-based one. If you don't know what SIBO is, it stands for small intestine bacterial overgrowth. If you have SIBO, you know it doesn't matter about eating healthier food versus non-healthier food. Like it doesn't even matter versus processed foods and non-processed. While that is very important for everybody, even too much of a good thing is a thing with SIBO. Uh, if you have a low FODMAP app, it's the funniest thing to look at because they'll be like, okay, I love broccoli, how much broccoli can I have? Well, you can have this amount of only the head of it, or you can have this amount of only the, the stem of it, but you can't have both, depending on what your situation is. <laughs> you how I make my matcha and now Ty's gonna show you how he makes his matcha. <laughs> <laughs> so I like matcha because it tastes good and my girlfriend likes it. That's me. I probably just put way too much in there but we'll see. <laughs> mm. I was dreaming. Do you know what this smells like? It actually smells like my rabbit's hay. So for those of you who think that matcha tastes like grass, you're not wrong. Smell test it. This is, this is a cool thing. That one's sweeter. Uh huh. It smells like plants. Listen to that. So I said I was gonna make muffins with you, and that's still that's my great. intention. Oh. Bon appetit. You know what? Amazon Santa came. Amazon. Cara oh, it's, powder. It's covered. I needed this to make my muffins, so now I can do that with you tonight. In my smoothie earlier. Look at that. You mean permanent chemicals? Yeah, permanent chemicals. <laughs> this is gonna make our dreams come true. Yeah, baby cakes.
first trial run of the hair. Was it charging? Yeah. No, not this time around. Hello, everybody. Oh, cool. Though this is perfect right here. Hello, podcast. This is without any windscreen on it, but apparently this one has an issue with. Every time I'm supposed to say the word that starts with a P, I forget it, and then when I'm done not needing to say it, I remember it. Pulsifs? Pul <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, and I'm sure you do. Anywho, so we have a windscreen to test, two more coming in the mail, but this is the mic by itself, and it's just beautiful. Look at that beautiful. Wow, you can, like, with the phone call. Okay, I need to end this video here because the camera's gonna die and um, oh shoot. we're about to do a sound test and look it, I'm not gonna show you everything, but we're on Notion talking about our podcast talking points. Very exciting. Muffins are coming out of the oven. <laughs> that literally just melted mascara to my face with how hot the steam was. I, I don't know if those are done. Okay, whatever. You saw them for a second. Oh, you know the drill. Eat good muffins, follow the recipe. Thank you for following this very interesting vlog. Mascara stuck to my eye. Bye, thanks for hanging out. Love you, come back soon, bye. <laughs> okay, bye.